Hello, future Grandmasters. Welcome to day 43 of the Journey to Wishes Champion. We're going to be looking back on one of, one of my sort of well known games. So, uh, then I try a new series where I react to videos. Uh, there's a lot of games of me playing Blitz over the board. So, here I played against Vladimir Photosave, an extremely interesting game. Uh, as you'll see later, I was wearing some. It'll come into the frame later, yeah. As you can see uh, in my glass, with my glasses, it's going to be quite an interesting game. Probably one of the craziest games I've ever played. Um, I'm currently in New York. A long time. So I'm quite busy with some things. Um, uh, but I am still training. I'm still working. Uh, reading so many books. Uh, I got some books about Fisher from Iceland. But let's get into the video. Okay. So as you can see, I'm wearing these nice glasses. This was very funny. He goes like bishop c4, and then he goes to b5. So a little bit of games, you know. I play a6, knight of six. I I think I I think that I look so cool with these glasses. It's so cringe. It's just. And uh... I just this is so stupid. Like I castled with the rook. So I, I don't know what was going through my head. I think that I was in a complete daze. Touch the rook, you actually have to move the rook, not the king. But he was like, okay, I will not make you do it. But it was just so stupid because if I remove the rook, then my position just lost. So he was a bit nice, but it was just ridiculous that I I, I castled my king like this. Like, what am I? I, I, I sometimes I look at like what, what I'm doing and I'm just, what is wrong with me? So um, so he, he said something and I didn't even notice. Like, I'm so out of it, that I didn't even notice. Uh, so this is the martial opening. Um, the main line is a4, he's attacking the pawn, he goes d3. Uh, I go d6. Now he goes bishop d2, stopping knight a5. Um, uh, so here I go queen d7. The point is to maneuver the knight. Uh, he goes h3, sort of a slow move. He's quite deep in preparation here. Um, I'm not really sure what to do. I play h6, a slow improving move. Uh, the martial positions are very slow. You know, you want to slowly improve your pieces. It's it's nothing, nothing too fast. And look at this. Look, look, I look like such an idiot. What is wrong? You know, I'm like smiling. I'm looking up. So finally, he goes. I get bring the knight to a5. Bishop proceeds to a2. I go. Uh, I think I go b4, kicking kicking the knight. The knight retreats. I go c5. Now he brings him. Now he's a lot of his pieces are coming to the king side. I, I should be. I'm a bit worried. I go rookie eight. Planning to bring my bishop back to f8 to further defend my king. But I, I'm wearing these stupid glasses, these pink glasses that I bought in Uzbekistan. I have this terrible haircut. I look like an absolute idiot. Um, uh, I think that I'm slow. I think that some humility would be good for me. So I'm slowly becoming more humble day by day. He goes c3. I didn't really like this because I thought that he's, you know, worsening his pawn structure. He's bringing his knight to d2, maneuvering it to the outpost on c4. Um... Again, a very dynamic position. A lot of pieces still on the board. A lot of tactics uh, at play. Um, I really... I also lost a bit of weight since then. I need to, you know... Again, I think that... Uh, I need to be more... I need to be humble. Day by day, I'm realizing that. So I, I go d5 breaking in the center. Um, I want to open things up. Also, this bishop on b7. I want to unlock the diagonal. Um, so he's thinking... Uh, I'm adjusting my glasses like a total idiot. Um... I'm sort of, you know, stopping his plan of going to c4. If he wants to go to c4, he has to trade. So he trades, knight comes in. But now this pawn on d3 is very weak. My knight's coming in. I think, you know, now I've got two outposts for my knights on, you know, b4 and d4. My pieces are improving. Um, but he does have some potential attacking chances, as you'll see later on in the game. Uh, I go rook d8, simply improving my position, reinforcing my pieces. Um... Now he goes bishop back to d2, maybe angling for bishop takes h6. As we'll see. But again, my positionally I'm very sound here. It's just that I have to control the tactics very well. Um, I go knight d to b4. Attacking a2, attacking d3. He sort of has to lash out with a sacrifice here. Yeah, bishop takes h6. So I thought it was complete BS. Um, and I had to really, you know, find the best way to respond to this. Um, obviously if I take the bishop, he's probably going to play bishop takes f7. After king takes f7, queen h5, 6. So I take the bishop, removing bishop, but take bishop takes g7. So he's we're playing a blitz game. He's given up two pieces. My knight's hanging, the bishop's hanging. Uh, the king's coming in. Uh, it's extremely. So I take, I just take the piece. He goes queen h5. 
Uh, nice threatening knight f5 check. Now I go knight d4, stopping that. Just plays queen takes e5. I still thought he was completely bluffing. I think here I had to play king g6. I think king g6 here, or something, I don't know what it was, but I was definitely winning here. I don't think that this is, this is absolutely crazy. But, you know, he is a crazy opponent, and I think that he was in the mood to punish my, my you know, behavior after my arrogant uh, hassle and my stupid glasses. Uh, if my opponent came to the board like this, I would certainly want to, to embarrass them. Uh, so I'm choosing sort of where to put my king. These knights and all these tricks are coming. It's, it's quite dangerous. Um, my, I'm getting low on time. Just went under a minute. Um... So it was a bit, 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 bit concerning, um, but I really felt that this was a critical moment where I had to spend some time. So I go king. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly what I played, um, but I shouldn't be going this low in time. I go king up to g6. Queen h5 is a draw offer. Um, he goes knight h5 again, not showing any restraint. Um, I wonder why I didn't go queen f5. Threatening queen g7. Um, this is a completely insane position, but I have no time. And in a blitz game, it doesn't really matter how good my position is. Queen f5, yeah, he has queen h4. That was the point. So no, queen f5, queen g7, king h5, g4. But I'm going down to 10 seconds. I have to move. I'm just completely toast here. I'm not even paying attention to my clock. And he's trying to think, so, so I flag. I have to move, I have to move. I have f6. Suddenly I wake up, I realize I have no time. I put the glasses off. It's time to, you know, to stop messing around. Um, so he's got two minutes here. He's got all the time in the world to think. And I'm just, you know, my position objectively is still fine. But with this amount of time, I'm really... So he goes to check. He goes uh, king g7. Knight takes f6. Um, takes knight h5. This is just insane. King, g king f7, he takes. King g8. Still everything should be okay. Um, I shouldn't be lost. King to f8, king to h8. Um, but my, you know, the, the my knight on a2 is I'm up a piece, but it doesn't really matter, you know. Um, so he takes. Now he goes knight f6. Now I'm basically lost. He's threatening queen h6 mate. But here I find this insane move, knight, knight f3 check, which is just freaking amazing. The point being, he should just take my knight. He needs to take my knight, but he goes king to one, and I play queen takes h3. Finding it with three seconds on the clock. Pawn takes, knight h4. I'm holding on for dear life. And I'm actually defending, you know. So now I'm going to win back the queen. He's going to take my rook. And then we're going to have two knights and a bishop. So he's laughing. He can't believe that I found this defense. He takes this. I go knight back to b4. He's got three pawns, but I'm picking up the d3 pawn. I go, I bring the bishop to d5. d3 pawn is going to fall. Maybe the b2 pawn is going to fall. He's got two pawns, but they're sort of, you know. Okay, knight comes into e5, threatening out a three check. My pieces are coordinated. He's getting nervous. He's getting nervous, you know. King comes to Jujuri, taking the pawn. Next, hopefully, you know, so if I can win this b3, b2 pawn, the c4 pawn runs, I've got chances, but he's got this, you know, two pawns, so he, he's, he's, but the issue is, is he has a minute and 40 seconds, so, you know, there's not much that I can do. I, I should have taken the pawn, really should have taken the pawn. Um, it goes knight of six, knight back to e3, he's consolidating. Again, okay, finally I take the pawn, it goes for c1, I need to go, I should have gone c4, I should have gone c4. Um, I needed to push my pawns. Now he's sort of got a blockade. He's going h4. I'm sort of stuck. My two knights can't really move. Uh, he's going to slowly improve his position. I, I, I'm sort of panicking. Um, but I'm still slowly holding on. It still should be a draw. He goes king f3. The king wants to come to e4. Bishop back to d7. Targeting the a4 pawn. Um, again, he goes a5. Bishop c6 check. I think uh, still my pieces are stuck. I can't move any. Bishop b5 protecting the knight. I want to move my b4 knight. To improve that that piece but still these two pawns could be very dangerous i got five seconds against a minute 30 under still under a lot of pressure um, but he's taking his time uh, king comes to g4 knight f2 check now i bring another knight to d3 again i'm fighting really well i am improving my pieces i'm fighting back but again these knights you know when, when knights protect each other um you know if one's attacked the other can't move so sort of a weird paralysis knight comes to c2 um, I think I blundered. Yeah, knight to d1. Oh, no, no, no. My position... I wasn't blundering. Knight, knight to d1, rook a3, pawn to c4. Again, the time was just... I went c3, so I just blundered, I believe. Yeah, this was stupid. I should have just brought the bishop back to d7. I was a bit too sort of hasty. Um, king to e2, and now I'm sort of just lost. Uh, because 
yeah, he now he takes my bishop. Um, and I just don't have enough. I don't have enough, unfortunately. His pawn's gonna be pushing. He go I go c2, blundering. I should have just taken with the pawn. But a6 was gonna run, king to 2 No, knight c4, king takes. Last chance was knight takes a3. But now he just moves the rook back. He's got the a pawns running. He's just got way got way too many pawns. Yeah, he not, he takes the. So this was a crazy game. Uh, I think that he, he he posed some very you know difficult practical problems, which are impossible to sort of overcome considering how much time I had on the clock. Um, and obviously, I fought back very well with seconds playing on the increment, but uh, eventually I collapsed. So this is hopefully, like, it's funny when I look back on this and see how much of an idiot I am uh, with my glasses and uh, usual arrogance. Um, so hopefully, you know, I think that once I'm like top 10 in the world, I'm one of the best players, then I'll go back to my arrogance because then I feel like it's deserved. Now I, I feel like I should be humble until then. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you like these types of videos um, because it's super simple for me to do. And obviously, you know, this YouTube journey is important, but my training is more important and me, you know, becoming the best player in the world is, you know, takes precedence. So this is the simple type of video I can do, which I enjoy as well. So like, comment, and subscribe and uh, drop a comment uh, if you want me to do more videos like this in the future.